Welcome back to Fab Automotive Detailing. You guys, in this video, let's talk engine bay detailing. Let's do it. So engine bay detailing, you guys, is something that I've never really thought twice about. I've done tons of them over the years. Uh, they've never bothered me. I've never thought, oh man, I don't want to ruin this or I don't want to ruin that. I just play it smart and I cover up the ECU, which is engine control unit is what that stands for. That's the computer for the engine. Uh, if you have a transmission control module, ABS module, something like that, you should cover those up. But today's cars, every single wire harness has watertight seals on them. Now, does that mean they're perfect? No. Um, but as long as you don't you know, get your pressure washer or whatever you're using to wash the car, rinse it down with, and you don't push it up against the wire harness, you're going to be fine. Now I play it safe. I will cover up the ECU and I will cover up the alternator if it's exposed. Now, one thing you do have to remember when you're driving down the road and you're in a, just a tsunami, just an absolute rainstorm and water's flying right through the radiator and it's going all over the engine compartment. It's coming up from the bottom. If you don't have a full belly pan, even if you have a full belly pan, mist and stuff still gets up in there and soaks everything in the engine bay. These cars are, these engines are made to be watertight. They just are. Uh, so don't overthink it. Uh, it's just, you don't need to when you're doing engine bay detail. Now there's several different ways to do it. I'm not saying any way is the right way or any way is the wrong way. I'm gonna show you how I do it. Um, my way is very simple. So the way that I'll be doing it, I will be using Griot's Garage's foaming surface prep. That is a foam that I shoot out of their Boss foam cannon and I'll just foam the whole area, including the hood and everything. And I plan on washing this vehicle and you always wanna do your engine detail first. Don't do it last, do it first because you're gonna get all of your fenders, you're gonna get all of your windshield, whatever you spray on there. Um, and then we'll just agitate it a little bit and then we're gonna rinse it down and then we'll be using Malco's Appeal, mix three to one. That is a product you can mix how you want to for tires, interiors. Uh, it's really, really good on engine bays because when it's wet, you spray it on, you shut the hood and you just let it dry. And when you open the hood, the engine bay just looks so, so nice. And it's not overly glossy. Every now and then you do have to wipe it down. But I'm gonna show you a few things here that options that you have. You don't have to have a pressure washer. You don't have to have a, a foam can. And you can do this the way that I used to do a long time ago. Just use a good degreaser, rinse it down. Don't oversaturate if you're using a garden hose. That's why I like using a pressure washer. I hold the wand high, so it's more of a mist coming down, not a constant uh, just flooding of the engine. So I'm gonna show you right here, you guys. So this is one option you have. You can go to Walmart anywhere and you can buy this. This is super clean. This is a degreaser. This is really good for engine bay de detailing. You can also use this for many other things around the car and you just dilute it uh, the way you want to. And it gives you, actually this bottle doesn't have it of course, uh, but most of their bottles or gowns at least gives you dilution ratios for what you're wanting to clean. Another product that I really like that works really well is also extra tough. This right here is an alkaline based degreaser. You can use this on cars. Um, what's cool about it is if it does dry, it, you can re-wet it and it will reactivate it and it'll rinse it down so you can dry it. You can use this on carpets, you can use this on engine bays, tires, wheels, uh, pretty much all the way around the car. And there are certain ways you need to dilute it to do that. And on their website, they have everything you need for that. Another product that, uh, that I have not used, but it's like uh, Super Clean's aerosol, I believe, is Orange Muscle. It's an all-purpose degreaser, all-purpose cleaner uh, from Distinctive Details. This is a product that I do sell on my truck. And this is going to be something you can just foam on, agitate, and then you can just rinse it off. You're going to need a good brush. This is a fender brush. You see it's dirty because this is engine bay detail only is what I use this for. Um, it's soft but it's also strong enough that it's going to remove grit and grime. And then I like to have just a small brush around for like the little cracks and crevices that I can't really get this into very well. And then last but not least, actually not last but not least, but then this is the foaming surface prep by Greer's Garage with their Boss Foam Cannon head on it. It just sucks it right out of the bottle, which is great. And this is Malco Appeal, which I, I did label. I diluted it three to one in this bottle and this stuff is absolutely fantastic. It's expensive, um, but it's really good and a little bit goes a long way. So let's just dive right into, into this engine bay detail. So as you guys can see, I covered up the ECU right here. That's it. This is the fuse box. I'm not worried about that. Uh, the alternator is down here and there is a cover on it. So I'm not really worried about that. And then the engine bays, most engine bays have these big plastic covers on them anyways. As you can see, it still looks pretty good. It's been a while since I did an engine bay cleaning on it. 
uh, but it still doesn't look too bad. So the first thing that I like to do is I like to go around. I want to check and see if I have any debris, which I do. There's a leaf right in there. There's a leaf down here. Now I always like to check my drains. This one looks okay. I'm kind of embarrassed, you guys, because I have not done anything to this thing for a long time. It's just sat in our driveway ever since I start, got the business going. There's more. There's some in there I can't get to. Let's look. Oh, so here you go. This is a really good example. See that? That's supposed to be the drain. That's what's going to let all the water out when it rains on the car. See right there? Now it's open. So I'll clean all that out really good with the brush. Uh, that's very important. Make sure you do that first. Uh, so now we're going to get to it. Uh, we are going to foam this down. I'll be using my Adams Pressure Washer 2.0 with my boss foam cannon. All right guys, so foaming surface prep by Gruis Garage is a high, highly concentrated, a high pH, because it's meant for stripping waxes and sealants before you do a full detail, before you do a paint correction, before you do the wash process. So this is a really good with engine bays. It's really good at cleaning oil and grease and stuff off. So that's why I like using it on these. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Get the hood. That's it. Doesn't take much when you're doing just the engine bay. As you can see. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let this dwell for about three minutes. As you can see, this stuff is very thick. It just sits there, which is what you want it to do on stuff like this. You don't really want it running down like you do on the paint because you want it to sit there and you want it to clean. You do not want to let it dry on your paint though. So what I'll do is I will go and I'll wipe or rinse it down off my windshield right now. All right, you guys, so I like to, just like I do in the car, when I'm washing the body, I like to start high and then work my way down. So I'm just gonna come up here, I'm just gonna agitate it real quick. I'm not going for perfection. It's underneath. I'm not really worried about it a whole lot. And remember when you do something like this, you're going to need to re uh, grease your latches because it's going to remove a lot of the grease that's in there and you need lubrication in your latches. Okay, I'm gonna come up here and I'm just gonna agitate, get down in these cracks and crevices the best I can. Getting stuff dripped all over me. So now basically I'm just gonna go over everything really fast. Coolant expansion tank, power steering reservoir, strut tower. You're gonna make noise, you're gonna hit stuff. There's not a whole lot you can do about that. Like I said, don't overthink something like this. Just do it. Be smart about it and you'll be fine. I'm sure somebody will see something wrong that I'm doing. That's fine. Don't bother me. As long as I get the results I'm looking for, I care less. Honestly, you probably don't even have to scrub using this stuff. This stuff's so strong anyways as it is. Now the battery on this car is in the fender, so I don't have to worry about it it too much but i don't cover batteries you guys i just rinse them down and i wash them just like i do this luckily on these cars most stuff's covered up so 
You don't have to worry about a whole lot. Do my caps real quick. That's really it. It's that easy. And we will rinse down the same way we washed it. We're gonna start with the top. Gonna go to the cowling. Make sure it's good and clean. Look, there's a leaf that came out right there. And then on the engine, you're just gonna raise it up about up here to do it. You're just gonna rinse it down. Stepped all in your guys' way. Now, as you guys see, I'm not flooding it. That's important. I'm not flooding it. Show you guys what it looks like right now. As you can see. Rinsing down good. These cleaned up great. This cleaned up good. Computer stayed dry. And there's leaves in there that honestly, I'm not taking all that apart just to get to those. So they'll just have to stay there. But now my drains look good. Everything looks nice. And here comes the easy part. We're going to take a peel. We're just going to spray it on what we want to make look good. See how the water kind of just exits stage left when you spray it on there. And that's, this is why you do it before you wash, because you're spraying stuff on your fenders, your windshield. Now we will have to wipe it down. That's about it. I'm gonna shut the hood and wash the car, but I wanna show you guys something really quick. So you're gonna pull up in spots like this and like this. So when you get done, once it's dried, you're gonna to have to come back in and you're gonna to have to clean those out with air or something. That's about it, you guys. I'm just gonna shut the hood. I'm gonna wash the car and that way when I get done, this should be all dressed up and ready to go and I'll let you guys see what it looks like. So before I foamed it down with the foaming surface prep, you guys, holy crap, look at that. Oh man. Uh, before I foamed it down with the foaming surface prep, what I did was I just started it and I let it run. Look at this. My daughter would be dying right now if she saw this. Start it, let it run, let the engine um, warm up and dry all the water and stuff that's in the engine compartment. All right, you guys, so it's been about an hour. I got done washing and drying the vehicle. Uh, let's go ahead and pop the hood. I do have rags ready. Make sure that you use a utility type towel that you don't care about, not something you're going to use on your paint. These are towels that I use for engines and tires and stuff like that. But I know I'm gonna need them. And I'll show you why. Okay, so let's go ahead and give you guys a first look. Because I'm gonna need to wipe stuff like this down from washing it. And then like right here where the stuff pools up. And then right there where it pools up, but everything else completely dry to the touch. Looks good. I just need to do a wipe down and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Well, products like that make it so much easier. And then I think Meguiar's has one. I've never used it. Uh, 
the heck's it called? Uh, Hyperdressing, I think is what it's called. I think it's basically the same principle. Spray it on, shut the hood, start the engine, or just let it sit overnight and let it dry. Look how nice that engine cover looks now. Everything looks really good. Now up here is not going to look the greatest. I don't know if the camera's showing that or not. This because I did wash it and I used a wax that I wanted to, or a, a foam that I wanted to kind of strip whatever whatever's on the surface, so it kind of got into the plastic a little bit and remove the appeal. I love these spray-on walk-away products though. Now you can use a blower of some sort and just blow this out of here or you can use a microfiber. It'll soak it up. It's the longest part of the job right here. And you can do an engine detail, engine bay detail, in no time doing it like that when you foam it on and just brush it down really quick. Now I take care of mine. If you get somebody's car that's just hammered, it may take you longer, but it looks so good now. I have, not, I have not done it in a while. I hate this boot. This boot looks terrible on these, and every journey that I see coming to the shop looks like that. I don't know what they use. So up here looks really nice. As you can see, now this will take a while to dry. It's going to be wet for a while. Up here is where my stripping foam got on the plastic, so it removed the appeal, but you can see where the appeal was. Look how nice that plastic looks. How nice these tanks look. The engine cover, it looks fantastic. Looks really, really good. You can see where I wiped, though. So you could always add a dressing there if you wanted to. I don't really care. As long as my engine bay looks like this, I'm happy. See, look at that boot. It's been like that since we bought it. But everything looks really, really nice. And there is a clean engine bay right there and it took no time at all all right you guys that's going to do it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this how to clean your engine compartment video it is so simple it's easy to do uh, just be smart about it uh, you don't have to use what i use there's other ways to do it i kind of showed you and there's other ways more than the products that i showed you to clean your engine bay uh, main thing that i say is cover up your electronics and make sure when you rinse, you rinse high, you don't rinse close uh, to everything. I've never had an issue in all the years that I've been uh, detailing engines, you guys. I just make sure that I pay attention to what I'm doing and cover up the things that I think need covered up. I foamed it with Greer's Garage Foaming Service Prep, let it dwell, I agitated it, rinsed it off, sprayed a peel on it, shut the hood, it's that simple. Well, then I opened the hood after about an hour later and I wiped it down. It's that simple. It's that easy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again. Uh, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. That shows me you guys like the video. And also leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this how-to video. If you like this type of video, if you'd like to see more how-to videos, uh, let me know down in the comments down there. And while you're down there, hit that subscribe button. Join the Fab family. We'd love to have you. See you in the next video.